Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be doing Palm 416. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, so again, in this uh, this problem, very similar to the ones that we've been given before, we're determining the magnitude of the moment of the force about the y-axis. So again, we're doing it about the y-axis. So let's put down the notation. So the moment about the y-axis. Okay. Let's see. Unit vector of the y-axis dotted with. Uh, let's do the you know the moment about the pivot point um, about the origin. Sorry. Okay. So let's do this. So what is the unit vector of the y-axis. Well, if you guess j, it is j. Okay, and then now r cross f. So let's let's see. So we need the the moment, the total moment here. So let's see what's the distance from the pivot point to where the force is acting. Well, let's just trace it. Let's go. So we're going to go negative 3. We're going to go negative 3 in the x direction. Then we're going to go negative 4 in the j and then 2 in the k. Okay. And then we already have our force component. So let's plug this into our determinant equation. So I, J, K, okay. minus 3, minus 4, and then 2. That's the distance, okay, the R. Another force. So we have 30 i minus 20 and then 50. Alright, so like I mentioned before, since we want to save time, we don't have time crunch in an exam, we don't j dot your i vec i component of the moment is zero. J dot the k component of the moment is zero. So we don't care about those. We only want to compute the j component. So it's going to be j dot, and then let's just, so we have the j component, okay, it's going to be negative 3 times 50. Minus, so negative 3 times 50 minus 2 times 30. Okay, and then you could have done I, you know, negative 4 times 50 minus 2 times minus 20, but again, we don't need that. So let's see, this gives us J dot, okay, what's in here? Minus 150, minus 60, so that's minus 210. Okay. And then negative, negative, positive, so then we have a 210. Oh yeah, and then j dot j is just equal to 1. And then we're just back to the scalar. Okay. So that's how much moments is being transferred about the y-axis. Okay. Awesome. Thanks for your patience, guys. I hope this video helps. And, uh, you know, I'll see you on the next videos.